Welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play uh, Adventures of Alexander Pierre in uh, Guild Wars 2. It's been a while and we left here uh, where we were about to enter this uh, lodge. It's a hunting lodge and people get here together to uh, buy drinks. <laughs> Um, so let's say hi. So I'm asking if the bar is open. Is there anything I would like? <laughs> well, I don't think I've had a drink yet. Yes, please. Uh, I'm uh, a little thirsty. See if she makes any suggestions as to what I should be uh, having. <laughs> and that will ask for one. Do you have any suggestions? Dwarven Ale from uh, Let's see Many bottles that rest in line behind her <laughs> I see all right, so there's a lot of bottles behind. I can't see what they are. <laughs> All right, forgot to set myself to uh, this. Oh, is she gone? Did she go? No, there she is. She's getting something. Let's see. Driver nail. Give me a moment. Let me check in the back. <laughs> so, apparently, I've asked for something that is not very common, well known. Used to be a long time ago. <laughs> Maybe the dwarves are not around. I hope she gets back soon. Um, this uh, is probably the first place I've come across where I could uh, rest. I guess I can ask her if there is a room available. Any vacancy. What the? 
Vanilla rose her hands to grasp a bottle before she turned about and gathered the glass along with a few cubes of ice not too long after she was out in the open and set in the glass. Twenty copper. <laughs> Let's see here. Takes the bottle and hands. Twenty copper and And a ten silver tip. <laughs> Let me see if I can. You want to go, uh, ten silver, twenty copper, and we'll say thank you. So I'm going to ask I'm going to ask if she has any rooms available uh, Let's see what she said here that uh, So she put the coin beh behind the, the, the counter. Ah, I think she's thinking again. To each their own. I have only had a few time wines in my time. And they're not something I would return to. As for rooms, she lowered her head once more to gaze over the room count. So she's looking We have rooms, yes. How long are you looking to stay? <laughs> well that depends on if she's going upstairs with me, I guess. Oh well, that's bad. Okay. So <laughs> um only for the night. Who knows what time it is, but hey. Let's see what it says. Maybe she was thinking what I was thinking. My poor little dog, Peritas. Look at him. <laughs> All right, Val. Uh, what do you say? So... Manel looked at the stairs a moment, clearly in thought. Perhaps she was new. She seemed to be struggling. The rooms are ten silver from what I understand. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's get this moving. Uh, 
Let's uh It's great, I'll take it. Uh reaches his uh pockets for some coin. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna send her another ten. What you say it was? Ten silver, she said. All right. So we're gonna give her ten silver. Okay, before I go, Benel noted to the human male once before Gaisrela and she spoke quietly. Good day, sir. Anything I can get you. Okay, so she's out. Before I go, um, can you tell me anything about Cadic? Sorry, guys, if I'm spelling this wrong. Cadic's manner. Uh, in the last episode, we went to uh, Beetleton, uh, Beetleton Shire, and we met the architect who built the Codicus Mansion. Um, and I'm hoping to go soon and visit um, visit the the mansion. So I want to see if Benel over here, and I kill her her name. I'm sure Vael. If she uh, knows anything about the mansion, oh, someone else will tell him. Okay, <laughs> so now we're talking to uh, so I'm gonna say uh, waves to the norm. Nell, the Norn, here you are, saw a 20 copper, and she looked at Alex more before speaking. The manner, hmm, well, what kind of information are you looking for? Um, okay, what kind of information am I looking for? Alright, um... I met the, uh, architect. Who, uh, built mansion and I'm hoping to visit soon is is uh, there anything I should be aware of <laughs> Any, any uh, preparations I should make? Well, I do know that it is a rather grand structure. I would make sure to be on the lookout for possible bandits or something like that. I see. Um... To have woke up. Thank you. Um, surprised that there would uh, would 
the bandits at the manor. Well, you have been most helpful. I'll uh, retire to my room uh, for the day. All right, so I'm telling him good night. May I rest well, she says. Here we go. <laughs> I have no idea where the room is. She didn't tell me, but... So I'm going to sleep. Somebody else is just waking up, apparently. <laughs> uh, let's go up the stairs here. Alright, well, here's a bed. A couple beds. Interesting, I guess I am to share um, <laughs> had to have my pick or something. Alright. Uh, let's see, before I go to sleep, uh, I want to have something to eat. Uh huh. Many more beds. It's <laughs> almost like a hospital. <laughs> All right. Um, let's sit here. Have a little something. A little something, something. See what we got. Uh, do I have any food? Uh, salad, pie, steak, and asparagus. That sounds pretty good. Uh, Eggs, orange, coconut, peach pies. Okay, I'll have a spicy steak. And, uh, what else? Coleslaw. Let's go with that. <laughs> All right. And uh, now I'm gonna go take a nap, get some rest. Big day tomorrow. <laughs> Wrong side now. Let's do this properly. <laughs> Missed the pillow. Oh, I snore. That's what we warriors do. <laughs> Alright, so it's the morning. And before we get going, uh, I'm going to have some eggs. Griffin egg omelets. Sounds good. And some pastry, huh? Cherry pie. Okay. my way out I'll uh, check out thanks them for my for their hospitality you know what else is down here though got some entertainment maybe didn't check that out maybe they have it no it's locked it's gonna say maybe they had some sort of dance club or something <laughs> some dancing people being merry and all I'm a little lost. Happens at uh, lodges, and huh? they're big.
Yeah, so I'm said good morning, I'm checking out, and I'm think thank you for your uh, hospitality. Oh, look at my dog. <laughs> He's brave, not afraid of spiders. I didn't I mean to put a question mark there. Now let me talk to Lodge Master uh, Carthage here. See Hello what there. he is. Not a problem, I hope to. Are you here to hunt the giant boar? No. What are you talking about? A giant boar roams the woods east of here. As much as I hate to admit it, I don't think I can take it on alone. I want that head though. I'll make an ideal it'll make an ideal gift for Lord Beetlestone. I'd gladly help you in the hunt. Come along now. Help yes, sir. The hunt is on. That's right. Let's go get it. Hope it's not far. Of course, you can't be doing any hunting and try out to the lodge, can you? Although it might depend where the lodge happens to be. Time to do some real damage. Yeah, you thinking? You thinking? Hello there. Hey, we just spoke. So, okay, you're pointing somewhere. Ah, the boar. All right, let's go. Somebody else killed it. I'm late. And Emmy's following us too. Let's see what her story. Can I help you? Yes. Who are How you? Do? I'm doing great. May Duena bless you. Why? Thank you. Very kind. Greetings. Greetings to you too. <laughs> okay, I guess she's not gonna say that much. Welcome. Okay, so now we're pointing this way. The beast is getting away. After uh oh, let's run. I guess Emmy is uh, hunting with us as well. Wipe the beast. Uh oh. Charge at me. Gotta stay on the spot. Done. A fearsome death tower from a fearsome foe. The likes of such has never been seen. Whatever. It was big, now it's dead. <laughs> Show some respect. <laughs> now collect the head. Lord Beetlestone must have his newest trophy. Ah. That's nice. <laughs> the woman is carrying the head of a boar. And the guy is just running away. Where are we going? Back to the lodge, I guess. And why are we running? Ah, ah, ah. I'm on a mission at the moment. Okay. Alright, so Emmy put the May this trophy ever honor the name of Lord Codicus Beetlestone. It's Codicus person. Very famous. Alright. So that was it, huh? Okay, well then. Moving on. Let's 
see what the deal is with uh, this hunter here. Hunter block. Hunting is harder than most people think. Between the natural creatures and the magical ones, the task can get a little overwhelming. How can I help? It'd be great if you can look for any hunting traps we've missed, since that food feeds our wearing soldiers. There may also be a few hunters out there who need help, so give them a hand. Anything else? A herd of dire boar is giving us trouble, so if you hunt these down along with any other hostile animals, you'd help us a lot. Alright, so I'm on my way. Looking for traps, looking for hunters, is a hunter who has had better days. Uh oh, uh oh. Looks like I'm gonna get attacked. Ah! That's right. Indeed, for great justice. Ah, yeah. You met your match. Mr. Boar. <laughs> yeah. Push him that way. Charge! Ah. Oh, this hunter guy is not very good. Look at him. Down again. Okay, here's another one. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Alright, need more traps. And another, another one bites the dust. Uh, hurry up here. Dust. Other things, things to do, people to meet. All right. Okay. I think we're done. Moving on. Spider crawling going on here. For great justice. The wasp. Right. A dead wasp. Wasp nest. Hmm. What is going on here? Uh oh, script coming over. Script like to take things. Laborer Cardi, what's up? How about I help you? A woodman's life is already filled with sweat and hard work. Good Adding in the wasp problem can make it seem impossible sometimes. Anything I can do? Wasps have been attacking good woodsmen lately. So clear out the pass would do us all a favor. Alright, anything else? There's wood in the forest that needs to be collected for the war. It's a valuable material for wood-based weaponry, so we need a large supply. I am on uh, the job. Collect wood, get rid of wasps, got it. I've had it with fever. Door blowing up 
their caves to cut them off. We're dangerous enough with saws and axes. Don't want to mess with black powder. Too bad, you're leading the charge, so quit whining and grab a bomb. Hmm. But this guy. Be careful, there's a lot of death and destruction swirling around this mill. What do you mean? Not only are the inherent dangers of saws and axes, but we've got scrit, wasps, bears, eagle raptors. If you don't keep your eyes open and Better weapons ready, you're gonna get hurt. Okay, I'm right behind you. Well, here's the wood plank. We must all do our part. Lend a hand, we've got a script to kill. What are you doing? Valerius thinks we can stop the script from attacking by collapsing their tunnels. I'm not entirely sold on the idea. But it's better than sitting around and doing nothing. What are script? Now there's an excellent question. The script are annoying little rat men. They come into our camps and steal whatever isn't too heavy for them to carry. Ah! You're messing up my stride. Nice to see you. Just recently, they stole the lumber mill's tools. Sounds like quite the problem. Welcome. What the? Grant's guts! What are you doing with a bomb? We're going to collapse a portion of Windlow's Dells to keep the script from attacking the lumber. It's a sketchy plan, but as long as we can get you past any squid defenders, it should work. It takes. Looks like these guys are really pissed off at the script. Report any suspicious activity. Winlow's Delves Discovered Shiny thing I'm gonna gather some uh, copper while I'm here Help a little bit with the script problem they're having. Looks like Look there's the several people here. helping. How long is the fuse? Um, no. How fast can you run? <laughs> go, go, go! Alright! Uh oh. Don't want that to happen. Move it! I don't want to be here when this thing caves in. Ooh, look at that, it collapsed. Let's see the rat bats dig Did you through see that. Script faces? Looks like they don't like us. With the mushrooms. So it looks like we did the deed. All right, Shanley. Any suspicious activity? What is this place? What does it look like? It's a lumber mill, silly. We've charged with maintaining Queen's Forest and providing lumber for the war effort. Tell me about yourself. Wow. Yeah, I'm good with the ladies. I'm technically just a woodcutter, but I used to be a member of the Seraph, so I end up with a lot of guard work. The other workers are strong, but they're not fighters. See you later, Shanley. I guess. Not taking her to the lodge and drinking some beers with her. <laughs> Alright, so lumber meal. Alright. 
Hold your horses. We help with the wire. Come along, peritas. My great war dog. Boy, these poor uh, wasps don't stand a chance with the big hammer I got in my hands. <laughs> what? What's going on here? Whoa! Now there's a wasp. Right. And will you look at that? Kill the big uh, thing, big wasp, and I am all healed up now. All healed up. Um, feel very strong. Feel very strong. So now that I have this, um, I what I would like to do is get myself some new armor, and I want to check out the Cotticus Mansion, Cotticus Manor. Um, in order to get new armor, I'm going to travel to LA, which uh, I'm going to go through Divinity for that, and then use one of the Asherian portals that are in the city, which I know about from the time that I spent there, a uh, year that I spent there in bed. Uh, but now I am completely, completely in f restored to full health and ready to. Um, Take on the world! Ready to explore uh, farther Almost away there. from uh, my uh, home city of Divinity. Chick the windmill king. Just getting started. It's me, you evil magpie. You're not a dragon. <laughs> I thought I was a dragon. All right. So I'm gonna start making my way back to uh, my city, where my home is, uh, Divinity.
been a while since we passed by here. Now we're on the way back. Because we are gonna go to LA. Run there as fast as we can. A bull going down the street, down the road. That Mayor North. Talk to him. My hello, Mayor. Well, hello there. What brings you to Shaymore? I'm here to put a few centers. I'm here to take bandits down a few notches. All right, bandits. Those despicable bandits make my life miserable. My scouts reported seeing them all over the hills to the south. Do be careful, though. They don't take prisoners. Thank you and goodbye. No, no, no. We got other plans right now. We're, we've already done that. Already taken care of. We're going to uh, Divinity and then from there to LA. Screaming kids, bar fights, and commerce at its most primal. Another day in paradise. <laughs> now let me see here. Let's get some speed. Strong. I would say, um, you know, while I'm in the city, what I'm gonna do is put on some city clothes, some uh, something a little more um. No, not working out, huh? Here we are. My weapon still looks kind of scary and such, but it look more like uh, city folk now. Like I belong here, belong in the city. Currently headed to. Currently headed to a portal that I know of. The time that I spent in here. There's a portal here somewhere. Portal, portal, portal. I know there is. Just need to find it. Aha! Uh -huh. This portal will take me to LA. Lion's Arch. The last time I came to Lion's Arch was uh, when I started the series and at the time I was also looking for armor, armor that I had gotten from, um, from being uh, from, from my, I visited my Hall of Monuments from when I, the time when I was in um, when I was alive 500 years ago or so 250 years ago sorry um, all my deeds and such I had left some weapons and some armor in there 
And those have done me well, they carry me through some of this first but uh, things, but um, I want to get some armor from current times. Current times. And uh, the lady at the lodge said something about preparing for bandits. Uh, watching out for bandits if I visit... Um, if I visit Cauticus, so... We're gonna do that. We're gonna look for armor. Let's take a look at your armor. The Seraph had recovered a cache of armor and weapons from Minister Cauticus' estate. We've decided to make them available to our allies. Let's take a look at the armor. Excuse me. The uh, armor has uh, we've got rune of aristocracy, condition damage, mitration. All right, let's take a look at. Uh, that's not what I want. But this. Here we are. Uh, it's got a spear rune of aristocracy. Hmm. Fifty condition damage, fifteen might, hundred condition damage, twenty-five might. We use a healing skill. Gain three uh, three st stacks of might for ten seconds. I was pretty sure that this armor. Um, you can never have too much treasure. I was pretty sure that this armor had something to do with bandits. Okay, time to put on my new uh, armor, just so we can see it. And I'm gonna take out my my outfit for uh, being in town. I'm gonna go back to my equipment here. I'm gonna equip my new armor. Now remember I do I do have the ability to craft my own armor. Um, but in this case we are gonna go visit Cauticus and as you nice can see um, this uh, this uh, armor and weapons are from Minister Cauticus estate, which is where we are headed. And there we are. So we uh, want to also craft some potions for. Um, let me see if I may have some already. Um, for uh, bandits, against bandits. Uh, let me see. Artificing, I believe. I, I'm an artificer. Is it artificing? Is it? Let me see, I forgot. Yes. Uh, potions. And we want... Uh, Centaur, Dredge, Centaur, Dredge. Hmm. I know that there is a potion. I know that there is a potion for... Um, against outlaws okay uh, water crystal and dust so we have to discover this potion I put pot over here <laughs> okay let's see uh, that's not what I want here and to use some powerful blood 
some water, some uh, crystalline dust, and red meat. We have discovered ten powerful. Well, we received ten powerful potions of outlaw slaying, and uh, that is what we wanted and needed for this fight that we're gonna go on. Um, I also need to take care of my inventory, but I will do that in my own time. And I'll make you guys watch over that. Um, I might also craft some weapons um, to ready ourselves for the uh, visit to Codicus. And that we'll do that on our next episode. So, thank you for watching.